All right, today is Friday, December 17th, and I am on my way to Iowa with the Stephen Piercy Band. I vowed never to tour manage again, but yet here I am on my way to Iowa. I will be in four different states today, four. Nevada to Minneapolis, from Minneapolis to Illinois, and from Illinois to Iowa. So it's gonna be a long day of traveling. You're asking yourself, what does a tour manager do? So am I. I'm gonna take you along. You'll see what life is like on the road these days. It's gonna be a little different. And uh, I hope you stay Airport number one, Las Vegas, formerly known as McCarran Airport, now known as Harry Reid Airport. I think it would be a lot cooler if it was Harry Reid Airport, but uh, maybe some of you don't know what I'm talking about. So now, just waiting for Stephen Hearsey, uh, who is now a Nevada resident, a Las Vegas resident, so I think he lives here. So, uh, airport number one. Only in Las Vegas do you have slot machines in the airport. And of course, Christmas trees. So we have one pilot who couldn't make it. And he was in the airport, but now he's been replaced with the second pilot. I don't want to fly. I'm going home. I've been flying for hours. We're off to a bad start. I think she gave the wrong answer. So now, they're not sure we'll make our connecting flights. Uh-oh. Could be a long, uh... uh <laughs> Could be a long night. Give us a few minutes, we'll get everything going. We'll be underway as soon as we can. He's like, oh, right for the delay. I just woke up. Do you know what state we're in right now? Sure what? Do you know what state we're in? What? No. We're married. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Do I care? Minneapolis. What airport? No, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. And then, uh, so they're, they're holding the flight.
Let's sing a prank song. Purple rain, purple rain, get my hat out of the wind. Purple rain. Let's go crazy. What? Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Get out of the way. Hey, it's pretty now. Party till it's 1999. That worked. That was a good segue. Get out of the way. There's no way we would have made it if we walked. Uh -uh. If we would have walked, my leg would have fell off a half a mile away. All right. Well, we made it. The Holiday Inn Express? I think so. Yeah. Oh. All right. So we made it. And now we're on a flight from Minneapolis to uh, Illinois. Oh, yeah. I think this is from there. We're going to go to uh, our Oh, yeah. Uh, Sorry about that. I'll walk just situated here. I had to take this jacket off. Sitting next to a troublemaker. Yeah, I tested it. All right. We made it. It was interesting. Dubuque. Dubuque, Iowa. So, for those of you who've been paying attention to this journey, we went from Las Vegas, but the flight was delayed because of uh, uh, two pilots couldn't make it. So the third pilot could. Third time was the charm. And we went... Uh, to Minneapolis where we had to get a cart to get us to our very late flight that did wait for us though so, and then from Minneapolis we went to Illinois which we then took a 90 minute drive here to uh, beautiful Dubuque and it is about 11:30 p.m. now and uh, there is the lovely uh, Holiday Inn I don't know what I was expecting of Dubuque but I feel like it looks like more of a city than I expected. I can't remember if I've been here before. Sometimes these places start to look the same. But so far, so good. It is cold, uh, obviously. It is cold. Um, but uh, that's something to be expected. So there was a little bit of excitement today. Uh, a little bit of drama. You know, will we make it or not? And uh, now, as any exciting life on the road, go back to the room and try to find somewhere that delivers uh, uh, Uber uh, Uber Eats you know, uh, at this ungodly hour. So, uh, anyway, I hope you're enjoying uh, this uh, tour diary. here. I'm waiting for Domino's right now because uh, nothing but the finest. And it was nice. Uh, I went downstairs to the uh, to the bar area and met some nice people who watch uh, this very show. Jason, love the show, man. Great. Watch it all the time. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's nice to come out to Iowa and see you yeah. watch <laughs> you get it. get recognized. Yeah, it's That's nice. excellent. The Dougie just begged while we Sometimes we're nice to a fault. You're coming. Well, in the morning, Dougie's going to go. No, it ain't in the morning. Well, Dougie, in about an hour from now, is going to go regret the fact that he gave me this 300. Dougie, That's what I was thinking. No, no, no. I see it differently. I, I'm gonna we'll back, be back in I'll five par minutes. I could parlay this thing into probably three grand in about ten minutes. Let's go. You want to go? No, no, no we're not. So now we're sitting in the hotel lobby, and Frankie makes friends with everybody. Yeah, I do. No. Are you are you going or not? We can walk. I can't. I can't. I got. No, I can't. Just so everybody could see, it's exciting life on the road in Iowa. Cohiba. Whatever you want. It's Christmas time. Goose Gusto. Are you coming to the casino? Uh, no. You you talk big car. I'm gonna play there tomorrow. Tomorrow. Here's what we'll do. Here's what I promise you. After the show, me and you are going to go right to a table, play blackjack together. Why can't we do that tonight? Nobody's going to know that. Well, 
Uh, not a real smart idea. Frank, you're, you're the voice of reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Can he do it or not? Are you oh, I can't off? answer for him. He, he's Mr. Party Guy, apparently. Yeah, I used to be. One of the things about uh, being on the road, uh, for me at least, is that I'm a diabetic. So uh, I have to shoot insulin uh, every night. So here is my uh, insulin pen. And maybe this isn't for the faint of heart, but... Uh, I don't know. It's actually, the pen is not nearly as uh, scary as the uh, syringes. So, I gotta do this every night. I uh, cap this pen with a pen needle, and then I dial up 40 units. That's how much insulin I need each night uh, to live. And then we do that, and then we take the cap off, and then I put this in the back of my muscular pale arm, just like that. And then I push it in like that. And then you can see uh, 40 units of insulin. The good thing about that is uh, I can eat the food that I ordered <laughs> now. Pull it out. Uh, cap it again. Screw off the uh, needle cover. And then back into my little bag of uh, works right here. Everything a diabetic can need right there. And, uh, and that is the uh, last part of night one. Uh, show day. It's Saturday, December 18th, and we're at the Diamond Joe Casino. Diamond Joe Casino. I'm reading that off the van uh, behind us. Uh, coming from Las Vegas, it's always strange going to uh, another casino. Obviously, they're a lot smaller, and uh, some of the protocol and things uh, are different. But anyway, so now um, the band is all here, and they're going to sound check. And uh, for anyone who is not a musician or in a band or has to deal with sound check, uh, it usually begins with a lot of drums and uh, starts with a kick drum, which sounds a lot like uh, Up All Night or War Pigs. And then that goes for a while. And so it's a bit of a long uh, process. And right now, uh, Stephen is recording his cameos. So for those of you who've ordered uh, cameos with Stephen, uh, those are getting recorded. So right now, it's probably about left at 1 p.m. And after this uh, sound check, then some of the guys will eat uh, uh, lunch here. And some will go back to the hotel and then come back here around 8 o'clock for a 9 o'clock start. Talking about what a tour manager does, um, you know, the real key to all of this is advancing. Advancing, 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 talking to the venue, making sure they know. Now, this place has had you know, a ton of uh, bands, as you'll see from my uh, pictures of some of the uh, signed stuff uh, on the walls. So they're used to this, but this is the first big rock show that they've had since the uh, pandemic. After the show tonight, back to the hotel. Our flights are not until 5 p.m. tomorrow, but there is a 90-minute uh, drive from Iowa to Illinois to Moline, where we fly out of, and then we will all fly from Minneapolis, uh, to Minneapolis, and then the other guys will go home to San Diego and Los Angeles, and Stephen and I will head back to home in Las Vegas.
10 minutes to eight. Lobby call is eight o'clock to get to the venue. Show starts at nine. It's just about five, 10 minutes away. So uh, again, so far so good. Everything has been nice and easy. Lots of naps. And uh, now we'll see how the show goes. <laughs> This way. Oh, it is free. Wake your ass up, right here. Yep. Hopefully not for Yeah. Show us, Steven. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> nice. Gonna be on the wall forever and try. singer for rat um everyone uh, suddenly calls you rat actually they point at you and call you a rat and um if this was like the mob and that happened you'd be killed but uh that's what i have to explain to them i am no rat anyway back at the hotel after the show i tell you what this was an easy trip the advancing was easy the show was easy um very rare i could say we got to the venue at uh maybe 8 15 show was at nine show ended i was back in the hotel lobby by 11 o'clock no major um uh, casualties everybody's happy uh and uh fans seemed like they had a really good time this is a good time for me to point out that uh, uh that steven is, is sober for those who don't know and performing great. And, uh, you know, he's just getting over being sick, um, but he put on a great show and I think the people were very happy. It's funny how people try to push alcohol on him, but, uh, you know, he's, he's, not, he's not drinking, he's enjoying life and uh, without it. And I think that uh, it, it shows in, in his performance. You know, you'll see in some of these videos, he can be a bit of a character. That's just sober, that's just that he's a bit of a character. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, I would call this trip a success and I'm looking forward to uh, many more. I'm going to try to get up early tomorrow and go to um, this aquarium and museum that's across the street. I try to do things 
when I'm uh, in a city that I don't get to very often. So hopefully I'm gonna really do that and I'm gonna show you uh, uh, what that's all like. I hope I'm not gonna get unmonetized for this Chuck Berry music playing behind me. I'm in the lobby of the hotel because I like to make a spectacle uh, and, and look at the Christmas tree. Um, if I can get the Christmas tree in my room, I wouldn't leave. Um, and it was very nice to meet so many people who uh, affectionately now refer to me as the YouTube guy. I'm the YouTube guy. And I'm happy to be the YouTube guy. And I'm happy that so many people um, watch the uh, watch my show um, and this, this show. Isn't that funny how that works? about 9.30 a.m. Today is December 19th, day three of uh, this adventure. And right now, I am heading down Main Street to go to the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium. Now, I've traveled with a lot of bands, and I will say that the majority of them stay in their hotel room and do nothing. Uh, but I always try to make it a point to go see something that I wouldn't normally see, like the National Mississippi River Museum and uh, uh, Aquarium. So uh, we're gonna see, this is a, this is a, a landmark. And uh, they say it's a short walk, 27 degrees is pretty cold. I'm from New York City originally, uh, so it's been a while since I've walked through this kind of cold weather because I've been living in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, where uh, it's a little bit warmer. I've resorted to the mask because it's, uh, as they say, uh, cold as fuck. Now I know why all the bands that I've traveled with stay in their room. But uh, we're making memories, memories of the last of a lifetime. These other guys that stay up all night drinking or watching TV or picking up chicks. Not me. I'm out here going to the National uh, Mississippi River museum and uh, aquarium. Cold as fuck. Gotta put my hands in my pockets. Now leave it to me. It's like a long time. I no idea where we're going. I'll find out. In 200 feet, walk over the bridge. Right, so, apparently it went the wrong way. Uh, you think the guy at the hotel would have told me? That I had to walk over a bridge. For those of you who live walk over the bridge, then in 800 feet, take the stairs on the right. I had a short detour. I got a little lost, but we're back on schedule. There it is, right there. The uh, National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium, and. Uh, I gotta say, I think I'm gonna be able to say, first one's here, first one's here. That's interesting in this.
Ah, that's the Mississippi. The mighty Mississippi. <laughs> the old miss. The old man. Deep river. My home is over Jordan. Here's my uh, my opinions of the uh, whatever this place was called, the National Mississippi River and uh, Aquarium. So there's a lot to do, and if you're a scholarly type, unlike me, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot of history. Uh, I always uh, I am, am torn. I'm not really for the zoos. And some of those animals seem like they would rather not be. Uh, in those cases the alligator uh, for sure and maybe he just wanted to speak. maybe the alligator just wanted to come out and uh, eat me or some of the small children but uh, wasn't really a fan of that even these otters and then seeing some of the other animals it's a little strange uh, but it, there was a sign next to the bald eagle that said these animals could not be, uh, they couldn't survive in the wild. So, uh, you know, they're just getting three square meals and they won't have uh, asshole uh, men killing them. So, and women, to be politically correct. So, but it's strange. Uh, there's not a lot of those type of animals here. And there's a lot of other history. But uh, anyway, this is not uh an environmental discussion, so I don't even know if that's the right word. Anyway, I'm on my way back to the hotel. Now, despite me getting lost and taking the long route, there is the hotel, there is the museum. So, uh, I'm an idiot. I got some good advice um, from Scotty Hill from the band Skid Row, name dropping. He, uh, he was giving me some advice about touring and uh, tour life and traveling with the band. And it was good advice. He said, sometimes if you have a really early call, because sometimes you get back to your hotel at midnight and you got a 5 a.m. call, he goes, you just, sometimes it's even shorter, two hours, three hours. You just get in bed, in your clothes, fully dressed on top of the blanket, keep the light on and have all your stuff packed. That way you don't go into too deep a sleep. You can set your clock for right when you have to leave. 
and uh, you just get up and go. So I got about two hours until we head to the airport. And as you can see, uh, I'm taking his advice. I'm gonna try to take a little cat nap, but uh, I am ready to just walk out the door and start the long day ahead because another 90 minute drive from Iowa to Illinois and then we fly from Illinois to Minneapolis and then from Minneapolis, uh, Steve and his girlfriend and myself fly back to our homes in Las Vegas. Anyway, if you're traveling, take Scotty Hill's advice and uh, it might help you. Try to Thank figure you. that little flick out. We'll do that. We'll do that. For yeah. You gotta come do the show. We'll talk, you. I'll talk to you before that. Film this. Film this. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh no. Peace out to you. Okay. All right, guys. It's fun. The race begins. Tell your kid happy birthday. Yeah, I will actually. Bye, Jason. Take care, bye. From Auntie Christy. Joaquin, I'll call you later. Bye, guys. Chase him. Showing though on this side of me, I got a whole row, which is perfect. And then on this side, we got Steven and yeah, this side, and they've got their own section over there too. Yeah, so there. So, in case there's any smooching, you have space now. The smooch, the smoochy bandit. You keep your mask on. Be safe. You don't know where you guys have been. <laughs> anyway, we're finally, we're finally on our way home. Last flight of the trip. Oh, what was that?